no, no, you make a claim. You, this speak Arabic. You make a claim. Do you? Do you? Do you speak Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? No, I don't speak. Do you speak Arabic? Right, so what's the point? A light of revelation to the Gentiles. So all those dour arguments contradict what the Bible teaches. Where's the original Indian? In Turkey. Apparently, the original Indian is in Turkey. Which museum, sir? You don't know. Soundbites. No evidence, just soundbites. We can have a talk with you, Rick. Why you go to my group? Yeah? You can talk with me well. I, I'm literally just about to do a talk. And then, and then, so, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, now, I want to do a talk. No, I, I'm literally about to talk about the Bible. Why are you obsessed with this? Literally about to talk about the Bible. You know, he's complaining. Why do I keep talking about Islam? I'm trying to do a talk about the Bible, and he's going to interrupt me. And I'm so. What I want, what I want to talk about is about the Bible, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to talk. So, so, you just, you just have to, you just have to leave him, leave him, because he's just gonna, he's just gonna complain like a little child. Yeah. So, I want to try and talk about the Bible. Now notice, I'm trying to do a talk about the Bible. So, do you notice? I'm literally trying to talk about the Bible, and the Muslims insist that I talk about Islam, and then they complain that I talk about Islam. I'm trying to talk about the Bible. Okay, I'm going to walk away from you. But if you will, leave us alone, I'll stop talking about Islam. Okay? I'm going to talk about the Bible. I'm going to talk about the Bible. If you interrupt me, I will stop talking about Muhammad's penophilia, his rape, his slavery, and Muhammad was sex obsessed. You're right. Muhammad was sex obsessed. Okay. Listen, listen. So, I'm going to try and talk about the Bible. I'm going to try and talk about the Bible. If you keep interrupting me, I'll talk about Muhammad's paedophilia, his slavery, his rape, his marrying of his own cousin, and so on and so forth. So, so, no, so, listen, I want to talk about the presentation of our Lord in the temple. And I want to talk about what Simeon said when Christ was presented in the temple. And there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. Now notice that we see in Scripture that the Holy Spirit is active and working before Christ comes into the world. Why do we see that in the New Testament? Because the Holy Spirit is present in the Old Testament. He's there all the time in the Old Testament. In other words, the Trinity is an Old Testament concept, not a New Testament concept. It goes on that Simeon was looking for the consolation of Israel. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. So the Holy Spirit reveals the truth to those who seek the truth. And unlike the Dawa team that are here in the park, whinging and complaining and opposing the truth, who do not seek the truth devoutly, those that seek the truth, the Holy Spirit will speak to them. You only need to come at it with some humility, some genuineness, some openness to learning. And he came in the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents had brought in the Christ child to carry out for him the custom of the law, don't worry, the custom of the law, don't worry, leave it.
come in, come in, come in. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's fine. I am Messiah. You'll just shout. It's fine. Hallelujah. Yeah, come and stand closer. Show your sign. It's okay. It's totally fine. Right, there you go. A bit of love. Show some kindness. So, and it goes on. And when the parents brought the child Jesus to carry out for him the custom of the law, when he took him into his arms and blessed God and said, Now, Lord, you are releasing your bondservant to depart in peace. Now think about what Simeon says. He says essentially that my life is complete and I am ready to die. Hallelujah. My life is complete and I am ready to die. This has implications for the ethics by which we approach death. We live in a world in which, because there is the fear of death, man grasps onto life with every fingertip and with every nail that he can. He holds on because he is afraid of death. And this is causing all kinds of problems for the NHS and for society. Problems that the liberal progressives are suggesting can be solved by euthanasia. We Christians have a different approach to death. We say that our approach to death is that when your vocation, your life story is complete, accept death as a gift from God. Don't fear it. Don't run from it. All of these people who propose euthanasia are doing so because they fear death. We Christians in our monasteries and in our monks keep the skulls of those monks on open display. We pray in the Memento Mori. We pray surrounded by the bones of the saints. Why? Because we Christians do not fear death. Hallelujah! Christ himself said, Fear no man, for man can only destroy the body. But fear God, who when he has destroyed the body, can cast the soul into hell. Imagine your life without fear. Imagine your life without the fear of death. If you do not fear death, what else is there to fear in life? This is the way of the Christian. This is the way of the Messiah. This is the way of the saints and the martyrs. To live life without fear, even of death itself. Furthermore, Simeon understood that God had placed a calling on his life, a vocation on his life. We Christians believe that God has a destiny for each person who searches for him, who searches for his will and for his love, who searches for his calling in his ministry. God has a destiny for your life. It has a meaning and a purpose suited to your abilities, suited to your skills, suited to your temperament. And through a process of discernment, the Holy Spirit reveals this vocation to you. And this vocation can be anything. It is not necessarily being something religious. It could also be something secular. Simeon goes on. The bondservant to depart in peace according to your word. In other words, he had received a revelation from the Holy Spirit. We Christians believe that God can speak to us 
and he does speak to us. But what did the Holy Spirit reveal? He revealed something that corresponded to the Tanakh. Very good. That corresponded to the scriptures. In other words, the Holy Spirit will not reveal to you anything that contradicts what God has revealed in His Word. It goes on. For my eyes have seen your salvation. Who was He looking at when He said these words? He was speaking to about Jesus Christ. Amen. That in the person of Jesus there is salvation. Blah, blah, blah. That it is in following Jesus there is salvation. Blah, blah, blah. In embracing the Messiah of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that there is salvation. Listen to this which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples. If you're a Christian, say with me, all peoples. All peoples. Does all peoples just mean the Jews? All peoples means all peoples. Everyone, Jew and Gentile. So all those die arguments all those dour arguments that Jesus only came for the house of Israel contradict what the Bible teaches because the salvation was prepared for all peoples. Simeon goes on, a light of revelation to the Gentiles who the Gentiles. the Gentiles, not just to Israel, but to the Gentiles, which means that Jesus was the salvation of the world. He was not simply the salvation of Israel or a prophet to Israel, but salvation to the world. So when Muslims quote this passage that says that Jesus says, I have been sent to none but the house of Israel, they are distorting the words of Christ. As always, he came to the house of Israel, but he was a light of revelation to the Gentiles and a salvation to all peoples. Praise God. Praise God. Any questions? Any questions? It's fine if we've got none, I'll move on to my next topic. Uh, Bob, Bob, uh, one question. Uh, the Muslims in the park, they distort this in the beginning in Genesis 1 or in John 1, in the beginning or they even distort the first and the last where Jesus says I'm the first and the last. Is it in eternity or in time? They say it's in time. So how can Jesus be God? Could you address that? Well, the, the first and the last. When Jesus says, I am the first and I am the last, these are two of the names that Allah has in the Quran. So when Muslims say, where does Jesus call himself God? We point out that Jesus says, I am the first and I am the last. So in other words, he said, we ask the Muslims, why does Allah steal the divine names of Jesus? Because when Jesus says, I am the first and I am the last, he is saying that he is the beginning and the end. Who can be the beginning and the end but God? So Jesus is clearly calling himself God. The Muslims lie about what Jesus says in the Bible. You say, what, what, what's your dispute? He is not the son of God. Jesus is not the son of God. According to who? 
according to everyone. Even according to your Bible. Just Jesus to... calls himself the Son of God. Do you know which language is the Bible, actually? I'll well, show you. Do you know which language is the Bible? My friend, do you know which language is the Bible? I'll show you. No, no. Which no. language, which language We're is the Bible? We're not jumping around no, topics. No, no, no. Not jumping around. You said you know that the Bible, Bible says yeah. that Jesus is... You're showing me the English. You're showing me... You're showing me the English version. Do you know which, me, which language is the Bible? Listen, no, which language is the Bible? Listen, listen, no, 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 you made a claim. Do you speak Arabic? You made a claim. Do you? Do you speak Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? No, I don't speak Arabic. Right, so what's the point? What, what point are you making? Speak Hebrew, speak Arabic, and then come to Can you speak Hebrew? Can you speak Arabic? What's the point? You're showing me So, listen, listen. Can you come with the Hebrew version? The original, the original listen, Bible. I, I don't can you show me any evidence of an angel? Where's your angel? Where's your angel? You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. Right, every Muslim in the park, all you do is come out with sound bites. That's all you've got. Look, brother. Look, look. What does Jesus call himself there? Show me, show me the, show me the original Bible. Man. Listen, 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 listen to what Jesus said. For the hour has come, glorify your Son. Praise him. So Jesus just said, Father, the hour has come, glorify your Son. So you just said Jesus never called himself the Son of God. He come, just did come, it. Come, right come, there. Come, come, How do you reply? Come with the original Bible and teach me. You come, come with the original Bible. I, why should I? I'm not. You're making the claim. I'm making the claim. You are, what's you're your claim? My what's claim your claim? Come, come with the original Bible and then we can speak. Shall I tell you? Shall I tell you what? Yes, yeah, show us. Um, where is it? Show Where is it? We've got it. We've got it. It's here. We've, it's here. Show, show me. We never claimed that Jesus wrote the Bible. We never claimed it. We never claimed. Yeah, this is a Bible. You see, sound bites. That's all the Muslims have got. Sound bites. You don't even make sense. Sound bites. Not even the Bible. You're not even able to have a conversation. You just shout. I'm not having a conversation. What I'm saying is bring me the Bible. Sound bites. That's all the Muslims have. Sound bites. Show me the original angel. Because your Quran claims there is one. Yeah, there is. Where? Where is it? That's Where? what I'm asking. Show me. Where is it? The Quran says there is an original angel. Where, where is the original where is, the, where is the original angel? You know it. You where, know where, it. You yes, yeah, it. this is it. This, this is, is it. it. This is it. This is where, it. Where's the original angel? Bro, bro, where's the original angel? For two thousand do you have it? I don't have it. No, you don't have it. Is there a Muslim museum somewhere that has it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which Muslim museum can I go to to see the original angel? I'm not here. Where's the original? Where is the original angel? Where is the original angel? I was uh, talking one? over there. You interrupted me. Now debate. Why, why are you Where's with the, the fake original angel? Why are you coming with the Facebook? Where I don't is even the original? Why are you Why are you running away? Why are you running away? Where's the original angel? In Turkey. Apparently, the original angel is in Turkey. Which museum, sir? You don't know. Sound bites. No evidence. Just sound bites. That's all the most. Muslims have sound bites. No evidence. Where's the original angel? Where is it, sir? Where's the original Bible? Try in my hand. Where's the original angel? You said it's the original one. Where is it? You go to any Christian. No, no, no. You go to a qualified Christian. You go to a qualified Christian. I'm asking, I'm asking. Shall we have a conversation? You're not even having a conversation in your entire life. You've never had an intelligent conversation about Christianity. I don't even want to have it, man. Yeah, no, but you were busy shouting at me so answer this question where's the original angel sir running away no 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 you made a claim that this isn't the original would you agree with me 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 there's a christian there's a christian would you agree with me would you agree with me wait what sir sir you heckled me now i'm heckling you would you agree with me 
that to uh, say that this is corrupted means that you have to have an original to prove it is. Can you show me that? The Bible that is corrupted. Can you show me that? Can you show me that? Sir, can you show me that? Sir, wait, where's the original in here? Sir, as you can see, sound bites.